So today we're going to be joining the most realistic RP servers here in Flashing Lights and folks, things don't go according to plan. It is about to get really hairy, isn't it? So will we be able to survive our first shift online? Stay tuned until the end to see and let's jump in. We are back in Flashing Lights. We are responding code three. We have an escaped convict here in the area. Oh my goodness, there he goes. Hold on, let's uh, go ahead and give him some justice. Uh, I hit him with a car, uh, nothing happened. So yeah, we're actually playing online. There's a, a server full of people here. Hopefully get some nice interactions. Uh, I really would love this guy to, to pull over. Come on, I, I might need to get some uh, backup here. Dude, you're not gonna go very far with those on. Okay, let's get the taser out. Uh, where's he going? Uh, hopefully we can get some other units. Uh, I, I guess I could call for backup. I, I think we have this handled. Uh, he's not going very fast. Uh, there you go. Butthead. So let's go ahead and get hands on with this guy. I don't think we need to actually like take his ID or anything because obviously you were already in jail. We just got to throw you back in there. Might need to go check on the uh, the old wreck scene too because I think there was a person lying down. Uh, but here, let's go ahead and get this guy secure in the back of our new truck here because uh, we are playing with the DLC. All right, go ahead and uh, hop your butt in there. Okay, pulling back to, oh my goodness, there appears to be civilians dead in the road right now. Um, should I call somebody? This this might be the time to call somebody. I should probably call a wrecker. Uh, holy man, I don't think I've ever seen a call like this. So I'm gonna see if I can get fire over here to my position. Uh, we have, uh, appears to be one of our fellow police officers stuck in here and we need spreaders. Uh, there is another firefighter in the server, so I'm hoping uh, they respond to me here. Hey, look, there's another unit pulling up. Wait, why is his door open like that? Uh, hello, Mr. Constable. Uh, we might need a corner here. Uh, yeah, we got we got issues. Where where are you going? Is he gonna? Okay, it looks like he's securing the other side of the scene here. Uh, I do need to transport the guy that we have in the back of our truck uh, back to jail. I was hoping that fire would take over here. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Obviously, you see the situation. Uh, where's our fire? There's somebody setting in the fire department, and they're just like eating like a bag of chips or something, not coming over here to help. So me and the other guy are just kind of standing here. Um, that's yeah, I, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Uh, can we get maybe EMS? Oh, on, I think fire is finally moving. Well, would you look at that? Look who finally came back from lunch break. Fire department's here. All right, can you please help? Oh, wait, what if they're not coming to this call? Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is what I was looking for in a, a flashing light server. Uh, hello, sir. You, you want to go get the people out of the car, please? Uh, yep, yep, he's gonna go back and get the spreaders. I think we have traffic blocked from most sides, except for the guy in the green truck over here that's trying to get through. Uh, or I think that's a lady. Uh, you could go go that way, please. There we go. Look, it's nice when people actually help each other. I mean, now we need EMS. Uh, I don't know if there's any uh, ambulance drivers in the server currently. It does not look like it. Hey, you know what? The firefighters, they can treat the injuries. I don't think they can transport, but they probably can call in an ambulance. Oh my goodness. Look, the EMT showed up. I mean, all right, so I think that's the AI. All right, so look at this. I think for the most part, this scene, we're gonna be able to clear it. Uh, hopefully the officer's all right over there. Okay, looks like fire's wrapping up here. Um, let's go take our suspect uh, back. I'm assuming they want him at the jail here, but I think for the most part, they're gonna be able to finish up and clear this, but that's the kind of interactions I was looking for here in flashing lights. Uh, looks like ambulance, right, we're just gonna get out of the way here. Let the ambulance take care of uh, what they need to do. And uh, let's head back over to the PD, drop this person off. Uh, blow through a couple stop signs. It'll be fine. Uh, look at that. Let's go ahead and risk. Oh, I should frisk him. I mean, to be, is he running off again? Oh my goodness. All right, suspect, please don't, don't do this. In the, really in the jail? Hey, you need to calm it down. <laughs> it's the second time I've had to tase this person. All right, I should probably frisk her. Oh my goodness, they just shot through the world. Does that mean mission complete? Uh, we're gonna say that was a, uh, that's a complete call right there. Um, yeah, we did the thing. So we're just gonna leave the police station like uh, we totally booked that guy. I don't even know if there's a way to cancel the call out, but you know what? We could assist other players right now. To be fair, he just kind of shot through the uh, the floor. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened. So not gonna lie, we just came back to the scene of the accident from earlier and it's, it's kind of still here. <laughs> I don't think this one's gonna cancel. This intersection's gonna stay blocked for a while. I guess we could have got the tow truck, but you know what? I'm fine. Uh, 
I need to move on to our next thing here. Speaking of next thing, I think there's a unit responding to this area. Uh, there's a new icon that just popped up on my map. Hold on, is there a suspect? Is there something going on behind this building? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go into here. I don't know if that's what this other unit's responding to. Um, why is there an, an arrest icon back here? Is there somebody? back here that shouldn't be yeah there's definitely another unit search in the area uh we're gonna assist them um i'm not really sure what we're going for here uh i don't think they know where they're going either uh let's go ahead and follow them real quick see if we can uh, provide some uh, moral support oh my goodness wherever this other unit is going they are absolutely flying it's gonna be hard to keep up with them here but uh, i have faith that we can do it Obviously, there's actually a couple units responding to something. Nobody's on the uh, the text chat right now. So I've been trying to figure out where this other unit's going. Uh, they've been code three the whole time, and I swear we've done a gigantic loop. Yeah, you can see they still have lights on ahead of us. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep following them until they say something. Okay, I'm seriously doubting the driving abilities of the other player here. They just ran into a guard rail. Uh, so I don't understand why all the doors are open. Uh, what are we responding to over here? Oh my goodness, is the local Dunkin' Dunk? Why were we code three to the other police department? <laughs> this seems like a abuse of power. Maybe they were transporting somebody. Is somebody being murdered in here? What's going on? Uh, we just gonna, we're going back up into here. Uh, I was trying to hope that maybe we get some interaction going on, but it was just the other player abusing his powers by driving uh, Code 3 to the police station. Don't honk at me. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's follow these other players. Uh, let's see if maybe we can uh, maybe take more calls. Technically, the call that I was on is still open. Um, I don't know how to get rid of that right now. So it looks like we have a police interaction going on. Wait, what is... What is happening here? Wait, what are we doing? Are we setting up an ambush or um, why are we pulling guns out? Is there something happening that I'm not aware of? Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pull my gun out too. I don't know if we're having an old standoff here with each other. Officers, why are you following me? Um, <laughs> no particular reason. It's okay, but please ask for permission to follow me first. <laughs> what is happening? This is uh, definitely one of the more awkward interactions. Um, I was just following player 10444. Uh, the other officer currently has a gun. He's pointing at... Uh, oh, wait, what? What are you, what are you doing, officer? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I I think we're we're just gonna leave. Um. Uh. Yeah. You know what? M maybe we should go to another server. That was awkward. Okay. So I have found another server. Hopefully this one's a little less on the awkward side. Uh, this is a nine one one uh role play. Um. Also we already uh, we immediately have some sort of activity here. Are we uh, unloading people? Oh yeah. They're already unloading suspects over here. So yeah. We're gonna wait and see if we can assist another player or if we could do uh, maybe some more calls here. Okay. So we have reports of a possible possible drunk driver in the area. Looks like we're gonna go code three. We're gonna follow the unit up ahead of us here uh, and see if we can locate said driver. I think they might be coming around the, wait, where did they go? I saw the icon for a split second, huh? We need to go track down this person. Let's just act as their uh, backup. He's got an invisible car pulled over. I, I swear he's just pulled over the invisible lady. Oh, he's pulled somebody from the invisible car. Let's just go ahead and uh, uh, make sure that traffic doesn't impede here. Uh, we'll tell everybody pass to the left. Uh, we'll just sit here just in case person takes off. I mean, if they take off in their invisible car, I'm not going to be able to see the thing, but now this is definitely interesting. All right, here, let's hop out real quick. Yep, he is now doing the Macarena on the person. Um, hold on, can I run into the invisible car here? Yeah, there's definitely no car for me. <laughs> I saw something for a brief second, and... Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be helping on this. We'll wait for the next call. I mean, we're just providing some moral support here. So I, I'm really not sure what the other player's doing. If I could see the car there, I could imagine maybe he's searching the vehicle, which I think that's what's happening at the moment. The other guy's just awkwardly standing there. I, I would take over for him. You know what? I, I think this uh, officer obviously has things under control. Let's go ahead and see if we can head on to the next call here. Um, that was definitely something. Okay, we got a call. The officer needs assistance. It's going to be code three. Uh, yeah, we better go ahead ahead and respond to this one here okay finally seems like we're gonna see some action here um i gotta pay attention to the map and to where i'm driving uh i don't think this is a player so it's gonna be like an npc cop needing assistance uh you gotta be careful on these sometimes i think there might be a person with a gun here uh let's go around wait where is the officer at will we actually see this car is the question um all right we have rolled up we've got a lady just standing here uh, officer what kind of assistance do we need is she running 
that she is booking out she's actually walking like super fast um there's a chance this is this is the lady um so this is the last person i saw wait what are you what are you doing no 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 i need to ask for an id uh paula matthews uh, the officer needed some form of assistance. I'm assuming it's you. Okay, we're just gonna detain you for a second while we, uh, run your information. Uh, let's just go back over here to the car. So this lady was speed walking away, and when I say speed walking, it was kind of frightening looking. Okay, I'm just gonna have you set in the back of the vehicle. Like I said, you're, uh, you're not under arrest. We're just trying to figure out what's going on since the other officers obviously is gonna be quiet let's just pull in the driveway not block traffic all right so let's get on the computer uh, let's see what we've got here okay, let's go ahead autofill details uh do we have a wanted suspect let's see valid driver's license no warrants nothing so what were we responding to why were you running from the scene well uh i mean i'm not really sure we've got the right person <laughs> hey, we're gonna go ahead and uh, frisk and see if they have anything on them here alcoholic oh there we go this is like a public intoxication thing yeah it's kind of weird when you're playing online and like it doesn't explain what's happening uh here we're gonna take you out um all right i'm gonna go ahead and do a breathalyzer test okay alcohol test is running um, she doesn't, like, is the alcohol even illegal if she hasn't been drinking? You know what? <laughs> I feel like we have, uh, failed this person. Uh, let's do a drug test. Maybe it was something there. Uh, anything here? Uh, no, this, she's completely negative on everything. Well, there wasn't a lot of explanation as far as what the, uh, officer wanted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and return her alcoholic, oh, I guess I can't give that back to her. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and... I guess we're gonna tell you to let let you go or something here. Oh, I gotta get her out of the car real quick. Uh, you are uh, free to go here. Um, when I roll up, don't take off running. Okay, so we're getting some uh, we're getting some calls here. There is a fire in the area, a possible entrapment. They just need as many units on the scene as possible. Uh, so we're gonna head up. Oh, geez, set the pole. Uh, we're gonna head up to the neighborhood and see if we can uh, provide some of that moral support I was talking about earlier. So yeah, I definitely feel like the game is still pretty janky online because, uh, oh, there's an arsonist. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff happening right now. Uh, we need to get out to this call. I saw another unit just whiz by. Oh, we're just gonna cross the median there. Yeah, it seems like uh, there's some weird things that happen uh, in this game. Obviously, it seems a little less polished when you play online because <laughs> invisible cars and suspects. Uh, that's kind of a a bit of a thing but anyways we're gonna head up here and hit into the neighborhood and see if we can oh my goodness that car was floating on top of that uh, barrier probably should check with them uh so yeah we're responding to this call let's see uh what's going on see if the situation's under control here okay looking for smoke we got a house fire over here somewhere uh let's see if they uh they need anything uh maybe we just block off the street oh yeah look at this they have a whole scene put in here dude this is kind of cool looking uh, shall we go to the other side and see if we can block off? I don't see smoke anymore. Actually, there's a little bit of smoke. Pretty sure they've got this uh, all taken care of, but I mean, it looks cool that we arrived and there's so many players in this one area. Uh, that's definitely a thing. So yeah, it looks like EMTs here. We got one engine here. I think there's more responding potentially to this area. I'll check the map real quick. Uh, yeah, we got another unit coming this way. I guess we get to go look inside. I mean, this probably isn't our, uh, our thing that we should be doing, but you know what? We're going to do it anyways. It still sounds like it's on fire or that's, oh, they got a fan in here. Oh, firefighter just comes out with the person on its back. Um, are we, uh, are we searching this thing out? I guess we better check, make sure there's nobody else in the house. Was somebody pooping? Can I poop in the game? No, I can't poop in the game. Okay. It looks like they pulled a lady out. Um, <laughs> she looks pretty dead. It's fine. Well, I mean, this is a uh, pretty impressive looking in it. All right, so we're gonna follow this other unit. Uh, somebody's reporting a person with a gun. So here, let's get out of Rod. I think it's Robbie. Here, uh, let's uh, let's follow him real quick. They're all talking over the radio right now, and it's person with a gun. So I feel like that's a little more important than the old uh, fire call here. Wait, is it in the? Dude, it's in the same neighborhood. Okay, it might get a little hairy here, folks. Uh, let's see if we can. Oh, there's another unit right there. Wait, is the fire responding too? I don't think they're supposed to respond to this. Oh, I think they're in the house. Okay, we need to, <laughs> there's so many units pulling up outside. Uh, Fire, what are you doing? Get, get out the way. There's a person with a gun. Uh, uh, let's go get our uh, rifle here. Okay, we about to make entry here. What, what's going on here? Is this, is this about to get really hairy, isn't it? Uh, I'm kind of cover the house. Dude, we are going in SWAT team style to go clear this house out. All right, 
Just gotta be careful here. Okay, we got the other units are upstairs right now. Hold on, let's uh, open the doors here. Are we searching for the suspect? Hello? Uh, okay, front rooms are clear. Hold on, is this the basement? Uh, we got a basement here. Oh, I'm gonna radio over. Uh, got a basement? Basement's clear. Okay, basement. Oh, yep, basement's clear. Wait, where's the person with the gun? Are we all just confused? Okay, so the call for the person with the gun. Did we not find the person with the gun? Uh, so we have a, uh, a person that appears to be dead out in the street here. I, I'm pretty sure that's from this call. Uh, we searched the house. No suspect in the area. I guess I didn't search the backyard. Not gonna lie, I thought we were gonna get into uh, some sort of gunfight there, but we cleared the house. Uh, honestly, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I think EMS is coming. Yeah, this person will be okay. All right, so the other unit's gonna stay here until the EMS arrives. Uh, we're gonna drive off and uh, head back into town, see what other uh, things we can get into. A uh, pretty intense little situation there, but turned out to be, well, it obviously wasn't nothing. There was, uh, there was a dead body out there, but that was kind of cool. So we have a potential suspect running across the street. This icon is flashing. Is this the lady from the off? Wait. This is the officer needed assistance call from earlier. The lady is back. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, on, let's just, uh, what? Okay, let's get up behind her. I kind of want to hit her with my truck. Okay, she is running back towards, what are you doing? Okay, hold on, I, I need to take this lady in. Obviously, this is the suspect, even though she didn't have anything on her besides just an alcoholic drink. Okay, she's going to continue to run here. Uh, we are on a uh, foot pursuit here. I would call in for backup, but I think I got her. She doesn't look like she's running very fast. At least she's actually running this time instead of gliding. Ma'am, you're going to have to stop. Oh, oh, she's falling. She's putting her hands up. Okay, you can't put your hands up and run. What are you doing? Okay, uh, let's get her in uh, Let's get her in cuffs here. All right, handcuffs. So do we remember her name? Is it Paula Matthews. This is the same per How did you make it all the way over here? She's been running for a while. We're taking her to the station because obviously she's wanted in whatever connection to the officer needs assistance call. Uh, I don't know even what is the deal. She's not even like a wanted criminal, but you know what? We're booking her. Okay, we're going to frisk her one more time before we uh, take her into the station here. We're going to let them handle her. Uh, we obviously have her alcoholic drink, which I don't know what we did with that. Uh, so yeah, we got that from earlier. So let's go ahead and just grab you, lead you into the station. You're getting booked. Hopefully you don't fall through the floor like the last person. Okay, boom, signature, boom. Hey, so look, we cleared the call. I mean, it took like 15 minutes later for her to get spotted again running through the city. Like she seriously could have hid like much better than that, but... Uh, I don't even know what she did, but we did the thing there. Okay, it looks like fire's in route. Wait, what is... There's something going on, and one of these buildings is on fire. Oh my goodness, there it is. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna block off the street here. Actually, we should probably block off at the intersection. Hold on, let's make sure we're not in the engine's way. Uh, looks like they're gonna park here, so on. Here comes another fire. Uh, go ahead and let them pass by real quick. Come on, pull into there. So that's EMS right there, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let's go ahead and block off the street here. Uh, I would say that's pretty good. Do you think they need some motivation and or assistance? Look at that. We got the street blocked off. I feel like we're doing our job here. Uh, making it to where the, uh, the firefighters can do theirs. Is there an interior? Do we need to go in? Oh, there's a shoplifting call. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, take that call real quick because obviously people burning in a building aren't that important, but a lady stealing like a, a stick of gum, we, we definitely want to take that real quick. Uh, so we're going code two here. Um, let's go see. Do we have... Oh, actually, I think we'll have to get a description on our suspect. They're on the uh, other side of the city here. We got another unit responding to the shoplift. Oh, my goodness. That was a drop off there. Uh, okay. So where is our potential suspect and or victim here? Shoplifting. We're at the mini mart. Oh, I guess we got to go in and talk to somebody. Um... Okay, let's go let's go check in here. Can we open the door? I don't think I've ever responded to a call like this. Where are the people at? Uh, somebody, there's a sus... Is there somebody running up the street right now? There's nobody back here in the actual mini mart. Did they run out the... Do we know of a suspect? Uh, the door's locked back here. Hold on. Uh, there's not anybody to talk to. Uh, it could just... Oh, yeah, there is a person over here. They're just invisible. All right, well, that's what our suspect looks like. Uh, red shirt... Black jacket, gray pants. Uh, there's a unit around the back side of the building that might have already intercepted our uh, suspect. Uh, let's go assist them and see if they got our guy over here. Yeah, they might actually be in like foot pursuit right now. Uh, here, let's go over there and help them. Can we drive up this? That's a good question. 
Oh, can't confirm that is a thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is a thing. Um, let's go up here and assist them. They probably have already found our uh, suspect. I think they were running up the street. Yep, that is definitely our dude there. All right, they got him. Good job, buddy. Uh, turn off the lights here. Uh, just pull over to the side. Uh, they got him. So it looks like this other unit's actually gonna wrap up our call here for the uh, shoplifter. This is definitely the dude that we saw on the uh, the CCTV. Oh, uh oh. Wait, what is going on? Why is the EMS here? Oh, they're transporting somebody to the uh, the hospital over here, I think. So it looks like 24 Alpha 1 has wrapped this call up. So I guess they're going to take or go back to the uh, the old shop there. We'll let them do their thing. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to see some more multiplayer in this game, had some fun here. Maybe we'll get some uh, different calls next time. I'll see you guys next time.